But I think what the public will be looking forward to when the House is back in session is exactly the moment when we get to these public hearings, because we've heard a lot about what the witnesses have been saying to these committees on the Hill, but we will actually be able to see it. We'll be able to see the questions. And as Congressman Meek said, that might not just sway members of Congress on whether or not to vote for impeachment or not, but it could sway a lot of the public, even more of the public than already supports impeachment. Now, the president himself has been grousing about not having legal representation, but he does get the right to counsel now, does he? So. It's important to remember that impeachment is not a criminal proceeding. A lot of the constitutional procedure rights that you get in the criminal justice system don't apply here. That being said, the president has even more so-called rights, I guess you could call them, in this process than the presidents did in the Watergate proceedings or in the Bill Clinton impeachment proceedings. They have the equivalent process, if not more, in this case. And President Trump will, if he decides to start cooperating, be able to uh, participate much more in the process if he chooses to. Now, we've seen a lot of obstruction, and while they were grousing that they didn't have this vote, they didn't have these procedures, I still would be surprised if the president was like, OK, I'm going to cooperate now and go along with this. But I think we'll be able to see when we have these public hearings exactly what somber constitutional processes must be gone through. You know, it's about the quality of investigation, not the speed, as Barbara Jordan said during Watergate. And so I think that's what Nancy Pelosi and her colleagues in the House will be focused on. And how long do you think this process is going to take? You know, I think it'll probably take a few weeks. Um, you know, this is obviously something that is a very serious remedy. It's, you know, the founders put impeachment in the Constitution, knowing that it would be a grave remedy, one that would, you know, draw the nation into this very somber process of removing someone from office. And, you know, this claim that you can only go to the ballot box to remove a president, that runs directly contrary to what the founders envisioned. They put impeachment of a president in the Constitution. They contemplated that Congress might, when there's abuse of power, as frankly we've seen here, they might have to take that ultimate step. And just briefly, Elizabeth, what about witnesses? Do they have to come if it's an open session? So what we've heard from the House is that in order to speed this along, they will not go to court to force subpoenas, as we've seen in some of the other procedures. They will instead use that as further evidence of obstruction of justice. And while I think the witnesses are important, what we already have, frankly, from the president's own mouth is incredibly damning and I think puts its own case for an impeachable offense. Elizabeth Wydra, thank you for joining us.